guys, so we have an update coming out when it comes to signs of the heavens. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is latest to get a look at interstellar comment 3i slash atlas. Now I want to show you the picture really quick. Look at this here. And there will be signs in the heavens. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with this one here. The book of Revelation does speak about stars falling from the heavens. It's a metaphor. Uh, the heavens or heavens elements refer to space and planets and stars, the sun and earth. And uh, the book of Revelation does speak about stars falling from the heavens, which uh, refers to the angels, the fallen angels and antichrist spirits coming into the world. Now, a lot of people not going to believe that. Uh, they rather believe in UFO stuff. But uh, we are definitely seeing scriptures of Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Now, I'm not saying this is uh, warm wood heading towards Earth. But uh, we are seeing gray stars heading towards our way. All right, guys. Before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters to prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to help and support the channel, we do have the Cash App link and a PayPal link and a comments box and also description box. Thank you again for your support. All right, so it says here, two more of NASA's space telescopes recently got another look at comment 3i slash atlas a kept uh, captivated interstellar interlooper that first captured the world's attention in July 2025 the object just the third ever to be observed in earth cosmic neighborhood originating from another solar system was first observed by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which captured what the U.S. Space Agency bills as the sharpest ever picture of 3i Atlas. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope and another newer observatory known as Sphere X had their own opportunity to document the in intriguing comet, which has been drifting through interstellar space for billions of years. I like how they use the number billions. All right, so while the scientific community is largely in agreement that 3i slash Atlas poses all the telltale characteristic of a comet. Now, a controversial astrophysician from Harvard University stirred up public fascination when he began claiming it could be an alien spaceship alien spaceship we shall see this coming i think november or october we shall see but here's the thing it's not going to hit us actually it's going to be 295 million miles away from earth atmosphere so this thing has a better chance of hitting mars possibly jupiter but again there's some accounts on x some people are saying that uh, this thing is going to go around the sun and then it's going to hit Earth. Again, there's nothing to back that up. That's all just comp uh, conspiracy stuff. But uh, again, um, you know, you're going to hear a lot of people say those things. And again, there's nothing to back it up. So, but uh, this, is, uh, this is the real deal. We are definitely seeing some kind of a, a space rock heading towards our region. Like I said, it's not going to hit planet Earth. But uh, according to some uh, nap not NASA, but uh, scientist, I think his name is Loeb. He's the one that keeps saying that this is an alien spaceship or something. So the world's scientists and space agencies may not be buying such a sensational theory, but they're still trying to get a better idea of what just, excuse me, idea of just what the comment is and from where it came from. Sometimes it's good for us not to know these things. Sometimes it's good for us to just leave it alone. Because eventually, you know, demons are real. 
and the fallen angels are real. The Bible says that the Euphrates rivers will dry up. There's going to be, um, uh, again, the pits uh, will be open and many, many uh, locusts and uh, demonic demons will be released. Um, and there will be huge uh, chaos going on throughout the entire world. But again, uh, just like the people that mocked Noah during the time of uh, him build, building an ark, there's still people out here that's acting like those in the time of Noah. They mock they laugh, mockers and scoffers. They don't believe this type of stuff. They just, uh, again, lost poor souls. And uh, they're just a walking dead corpse. They're not saved. So it says here, what is the three eyes slash atlas comment? Well, again, you see that white line? All right, so this is planet Earth here. And it's not, it's not even going to hit us. But this is a possibility, perhaps Mars or... It's not even going to hit Jupiter. But uh, people are saying that this is going to make a, a turn around the sun. And then it's going to hit us. Which is, uh, again, there's nothing to back that up. I mean, you're going to have those conspiracy uh, 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 people out there that is going to be saying those things. There's nothing to back that up. Um, so it says here, a likely comet known as the Three Eyes Slash Atlas made news in July when it was confirmed to have originated outside Earth solar system, which makes it just one of three known interstellar objects ever discovered in our cosmic neighborhood. What's more, the object which scientists estimate to be more than 12 miles wide is whizzing at 130,000 miles per hour relative to the sun on the trajectory that on October 30th will bring it within about 130 miles off Earth. So, okay, so let's stop here for a second. They told us it was like almost 300 miles off Earth. Now it's 130 mile, miles off Earth. And we were told that uh, it's not 12 miles wide. It's 1.7 now, 1.7 mile wide. And the reason why it looks so big is because of the bright light. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, again, it's way too early, I mean, to uh, to tell where this thing is heading or how big it is. But uh, it's getting closer. It's getting closer to us. A telescope in Chile, part of the NASA-funded asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system, or ALAS, was the first to spot what initially looked like an unknown asteroid on a path approaching Earth orbit. The observation was reported to the Minor Planet Center, the official authority for observing and reporting new asteroid uh, comets and other small bodies in the solar system. The object eventually confirmed to almost certainly be a comet and named 3I Atlas was later confirmed to have interstellar origins after follow-up observation. Now, guys, this here got to be my, my fifth video. I mean, I'm keeping you guys uh, updated on this one here. Do I believe in UFO? No, absolutely not. I don't believe in UFO. Uh, is there aliens here? Yes, I do believe so. We who are in Christ, we are considered alien, all right? Our citizenship is the kingdom of heaven. Earth is just, you know, again, it's not our, our you know, our home. And uh, we again, the Bible says that uh, there is a new heaven and a new earth waiting for us, for only righteous dwell. Uh, those who uh, believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life um, will be saved. Those who reject Christ, well, again, you're going to end up just like the rich man. You're going to end up just like the rich man. And um, sadly, in this last, in the end times that we are living, a lot of people, I do believe a lot of people are lost. Many, many people are following false prophets. Many people are following false teachers. Many people are following things that uh, they feel like is, is the way. But Jesus says that uh, in the end time, many, many will be deceived. Even possibly the elect, even those that call themselves Christian. Uh, I call out these false prophets. The Bible said that you must call them out. You have to call them out because they are deceiving your brothers and sisters. When I call them out, 
I get Christians just emailing me, boy oh boy, how dare you go after one of God messenger, Lewis? Hmm. All right. So give me a second here. God messengers are his disciples, not prophets. We are told to go out and make disciples. That's a command. That is a command. It's written in scripture. Go out and make disciples. There's nowhere in scripture to say go out and make prophets or you know and all that. No, go out and spread the good news. What is the good news? The gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the good news. All right. So it says here, though the object possessed no threat to Earth, astronomers in the World Space Agency are still interviewed enough to want to observe the three eye atlas as closely as possible. NASA's iconic Hubble Space Telescope previously got a glimpse of the comet in July, collecting data that allow astronomers to estimate the size or the comet, uh, solid icy nucleus as anywhere from 1,000 feet to three and a half feet miles wide. Excuse me, three and a half miles wide. The Hubble's observation may have helped pinpoint the comet's size, but scientists still have not determined what compromises its core nor precisely where in the Cosmo is originated. Mm. Now it says here, the James Webb Telescope, Space Telescope, then observed the interstellar object, August 6, 2025, in near-infrared light, followed by the newer Sphere X Telescope from August 7 to August 15 to get a better idea of its physical properties and chemical makeup. Here's a look at the images each telescope captured. Wow. A telescope that uh, that could actually uh, get a glimpse at something that's we're talking about far away uh, distance from Earth. That's amazing. That is amazing. That is just amazing. And we have this picture here. This thing's just heading towards, I wouldn't say Earth, but it's heading close to us. And this is just amazing times, the Bible prophecy. Jesus said there would be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. We have seen the signs of the sun, the solar flare eruption. We've seen the signs of the moon. We've seen all these blood moon. Again, there's a blood moon coming September 7th or the 8th. Uh, Seven billion people will see the sign of the blood moon. And then after that, the sign of the star. This will be basically uh, the final for 2025. So we are seeing the signs of the, the sun, the moon, and look out, there's a star coming. Jesus says the heavens will be shaken. And for those of you, you know, a lot of people think that heaven is, uh, you know, where the angels and God and Jesus is at. The heavens is also, a met, you know, another way to saying like sky or looking up. All right, so this the kingdom of heaven, which is the angels, God, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then there is the heavens elements. Second Peter chapter three. I suggest people grab the Bible and read Second Peter chapter three. What happens in those passages? Well, Peter talks about the heavens elements, the universe gone in the last days. It will be completely obliterated. All right, so I'm just gonna skip the rest of this here, guys, and I'm gonna link. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. But again, we are definitely seeing the signs of the heavens. That's what it is, signs of the heavens. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy, wars and rumors of wars and kingdom against kingdom, earthquakes. We're definitely seeing an earthquake. We are seeing the Antichrist spirits. God is giving up people to a reprobate mind. We're seeing that right now. Uh, we are definitely seeing some, uh, you know, again, uh, the signs of the sun. We've seen uh, so many things. 
and these are a wake-up call. I do believe Jesus is coming to rapture Zemanid. Now, can that star or the object be Jesus coming? No. The Bible says when Jesus returns, it will be a shocking surprise. It will be a blink of an eye. People will not expect the return of Jesus in that day. But, man, when that day comes, ooh, it will change the world forever. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time later. Peace.